Hello ladies! I am here to talk to you about chicken. It's what's for dinner. Um, actually, just today I was visiting with one of my clients and a dear friend of mine, Carissa, and she said, Teresa, are you telling me that if I clean up my counter that has raw chicken on it, that I can still use that cloth to finish cleaning my kitchen and I'm not going to transfer that chicken? And I'm like, you know what? Yes, that's what I'm telling you. And she, I said, you know what, Carissa, I'm going to do a video and I'm going to show you just what I'm talking about. So we're having chicken tonight. I thought, what better opportunity? So what I'm going to do, um, we're having some chicken thighs and I'm just going to take a small piece of this chicken. Um, we'll just pull that off. There's a little piece of chicken. And because um, I want to use the rest for dinner. So here we've got this piece of chicken. Can you see my chicken? Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this raw chicken and I'm literally, let's see, where can you see me? I'm just rubbing this chicken all over my counter. Okay. Now we all know that nobody wants raw chicken, right? That's not good for us. Um, so I'm rubbing this raw chicken all over. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to lay that aside. And then I'm going to take one of our Enviro cloths and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this to where my tag is right here. But I'm going to get it wet first. I should have done that before. Um, this is when we need music. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and get my, my cloth wet, okay? And then what I'm going to do is fold this cloth into fourths, just like this. And when I clean up my chicken, I'm gonna clean it up with this side right here so that you can see what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take this, now this is raw chicken, right? So I'm gonna take this cloth, and I'm simply going to wipe this entire area off with one of my Enviro cloths, okay? And I'm gonna lay this aside, tag up, so that we know that's the one that I use for cleaning up my chicken. Now, these are little tester sticks that show you whether or not you have any protein residue. So if it's purple, it means there's protein, and green means it's clean. So what I'm gonna do is take, um, what you do is you take, there's a little Q-tip on it, and I'm gonna rub this all over this surface where I just had that chicken, okay? Now, then I'm going to put it back in the tube, and I'm going to break the little top so that all that little stuff and shake it up and then do you see where it's green that means it's clean that means there's absolutely no protein so where I just cleaned there's no protein so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cloth and the the tag side up okay and I am going to wipe this same q-tip that's clean right over my cloth okay and then I'm going to put it back in here again I'm going to shake it up and as you can see it's still green that means there's no residue of protein on this q-tip that I literally just wiped on the same side of the rag that I cleaned my counter now you might be thinking Teresa I don't know that your q-tips ever gonna turn purple right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece of chicken and um, I'm gonna lay that right, whoops, you can't see it there. I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna take this piece of chicken. I think you can see it there. I'm going to take my Q-tip now and I'm gonna rub it along this chicken, okay? You can see me getting it all over this chicken and it's already turning purple, ladies. Look at that. That means there's protein in there. See how that immediately turned purple? So what we're, we've learned here from this is chicken is protein, right? And I had it all over my counter and I wiped it one time with my Enviro cloth and it came out clean. It was green, right? Then what I did was I took my Q-tip, rubbed it on the same side of the cloth that I had used to wipe up the chicken and it stayed green, right? But then the moment I touched the chicken, what happened? It turned purple because that's where the protein shows up. So if there had been any chicken juice left on this counter, it would have turned purple. 
So anyway, that's how well our EnviroCloths work. And what's really cool, ladies, is when I take this EnviroCloth, run it under hot, scalding hot water, well, not scalding hot, but hot water, rinse it out, and then hang it by this little tag within 24 hours, because this has backlock in it, this rag has self-purified. Now, like I told Carissa today, um, my kitchen cloths that I use, you know, in my kitchen, this is my Enviro cloth. It's not a kitchen cloth. It's an Enviro cloth that I use in my kitchen. Um, I wash, I do my uh, Norwex every week because I clean houses for a living. You ladies know that. Most of you know that. And so I have plenty of Norwex to do a full load. But what I want to point out to you girls is if you only have a few pieces of Norwex, when you wash it, you want to make sure that you are washing it with um, something that's low lint, like maybe a load of sheets is a really good thing to wash it with. Um, if you just have a few pieces, make sure you're using a um, laundry soap. And I wish I would have pulled my laundry soap out for this video, but we'll have that in another video. Our laundry soap has absolutely no additives, no fillers. It is incredible. And my mom just posted, she has started using the Norwex laundry soap and she said she has already noticed a difference in her sheets. They're so much softer. So Norwex is a win-win ladies. I'm so excited to be sharing with you and um, I better get dinner going. Have a great evening. Okay.